Hello everyone, welcome all to my TEDx talk. My name is Jennifer and I am currently a G3 student. Today's talk will be about, will be about the journey that has turned a, mm, let's say this like, of a certain subject into a passion and how that passion has not only made me fall in love with sports, but through experience and challenges, the successes and failures, the ups and downs, the quite literal falling downs from some cases. I have begun to understand what Harold's philosophy of educational excellence for life and leadership really means. If you have not guessed already from the title of this talk, the subject, I am talking is PE. Also, on a side note, if you had asked me a year ago what my favorite subject is, even now I will not guess or said PE. For PE class, that consisted of running laps and laps and laps, all of which went in the wrong directions to inspire and motivate future leaders. Since we only have a short time today, I will only focus on some of the many qualities that make up a good leader that I have observed and learned through PE class. The ability to inspire others, the re importance of resilience, and something that is also a key value instilled in all a hero, having humility. One, the ability to inspire others. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you're a good leader. John Quincy Adams, the sixth president of the United States. To be a good leader, one must be able to inspire others while John Quincy Adams spoke those words 200 years ago. He may as well been speaking about my PE teacher, Miss Neyman. She's not only funny and beautiful, it is her not I can do it, but you can do it attitude that recognizes the positive effects of having somebody can encourage you as a person. That you can do it attitude as a leader to inspire your team face challenges head on, to overcome the fear of change or worry about trying something new, like new sports in my case. Two, the importance of resilience. That you can do it attitude Miss Neyman brings to our PE class has been instilled on each of my classmates too. I mentioned at the beginning of this talk how in some cases there were quite literal falling downs. That brings me to the next lived experience of what, what makes a leader, a great leader. It was during one of these embarrassing cases that my fellow peers told me the importance of resilience. After advancing to vote over a voting box, I had done the most embarrassing thing one I can do at school. Go straight over the voting box and land straight onto the hard floor in front of everyone. As I lay there, waiting for the roars of laughter to erupt and wanting the same hard floor to swallow me up. It was no laughters my ear were met, but with chants of Jayo, Jennifer, and you can do it. It was in that moment, along with being incredibly surprised and moved by my classmates, a wave of self-belief ran through me. I got back up, dusted myself off, and kept going to finish the obstacle course. 当时请变得艰难时,艰难开始了。when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Great leaders must not let adversi adversity and challenges or obstacles get them down to a short respond with positivity and strength. Three, having humility. Which brings me to the final leadership skills learned from PE class. I will be talking about having humility. Prior to moving to Harrow, my PE class consisted of running around a track, and while I do contribute this to developing my competitive spirits. It was only as I was introduced to the wide, rank, wide range of team-based sports over the past few months that I have begun to appreciate how essential humility is when working towards a common goal. Taking handball, which is now my favorite sport and something that I have never played in the past. 
As an example, in order to win, it is not down to one individual but seven players on the court. The players waiting to jump in at the moment, notice on the bench, and a coach who knows how to get the best out of all the players. Each one of us must not let overconfidence, arrogance, or pride stand in the way of achieving the goal to win. Humility allows us not only acknowledge our own strength and weakness, but help build trust and respect, which in turns to which in turn leads better communication and cooperation among teammates. A humble leader doesn't pretend to know all the answers and isn't afraid to ask for help. The value about opinions of those that they and are open to hearing and exploring the ideas that are shared among teammates. Just like those in my handball team, a great leader a great leader must not let overconfidence, arrogance, or pride stand in the way of the path to success. Before I finish up, before I finish up, I just want to thank Ms. Neyman for showing me how to inspire others, my classmates for show, for encouraging me to be more resilient, Harold for teaching me the importance of humility, and to all of you for taking your time to listen. Thank you. I hope you have an excellent day.